that's what I was like. You know, it would come on and I'd be like, be quiet, everyone, the Mobos is on. So, you know, I've always wanted to kind of get involved. And one of the years, uh, Trevor and I, uh, we did like the sort of backstage and red carpet coverage for Radio 1 and then so I've kind of like been edging in and edging yeah. in closer and then last year I got to host for the first time so it's been amazing for me you know someone who grew up watching it loving it now hosting it so yeah, and you, you you remortgaged your oh, house God, for yeah. this when it first started I, I did against my mother's better judgment <laughs> Um, because, you know, I thought, if I believe in it so much, I just need to put my money where my mouth is. And I tell you what, it was really nerve-wracking. I didn't have a plan B, and my mother thought I'd be homeless. And the truth of the matter is, I had to do it multiple times. But it's not something I'd advise anybody else to do. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, you know what? It's paid off. It's, the, you know, it's just phenomenal where it is. And I just what, did you want it? what did you want it to well, be? Well, I, I guess the mo it was founded to really inspire, educate, motivate, and celebrate the next generation of creative talent and especially I think those individuals who have come from like diverse and challenging backgrounds because we wanted them to kind of feel that if you have a steely determination and audacious talent you can achieve anything and you can make a success in a notoriously difficult music industry mm. it's very tough out there and we wanted to kind of you know support and kind of champion and celebrate these individuals who had that kind of right mental attitude tougher than it's ever been really yeah. now really tough but what's great about the awards this year is that you've got a mixture of artists like jesse J, who's got that massive mainstream appeal she's going to be opening the show and then you've got other artists like crepton conan who are in the guinness book of world records for having the highest charting album without a record deal and gets as well is another artist who's unsigned but up for three mobo so i feel like it's the real sort of cross-section of of the artists really this year yeah is it how do they feel because you look at uh, there were there are artists who we who knew nothing about and mm. had their own very very um, unique niche audience who loved them dearly and then yeah. they they so perform on the mobile awards or they win an award and then suddenly they're mainstream. Do many of them think, oh no, I didn't actually want this well, to happen? I feel like with the mobile <laughs> the mobile awards, it's, no, it's they don't. Oh, no, they love it. They like bring they it never on. Feel like that. Yeah, but I feel like the mobile yeah. awards has got that credibility where even if you do win an award and you perform on the show you still have that sort of underground appeal. Yeah. So it's not like selling out, it's like buying right. in.